Hi, everyone. Welcome to our next lecture. And I'm going to introduce to you Ted Dragas. He is a prosthetist orthotist, which he'll explain to us. But I'm going to let Ted take the floor here. Great. Hello, everyone. My name is Ted Dragas. I'm a certified prosthetist orthotist. And what we do is we design, fit, and fabricate artificial limbs and braces. Today, we're talking about shoes and proper footwear. So important. Mm. Everyone's feet have a different shape, a different size. What's mm -hmm. so important is if we get to measure your foot. This is the Brannock device. This is what's been established to be able to get a proper shoe size. Many people say they're a nine and a half, and in fact, they measure 11. Feet get larger with time, often why diabetics get themselves in trouble. Mm -hmm. And we need to make sure that your foot and your shoe are a good match for each other. So could we, can I ask you a question? So what exactly is an orthotist? Just maybe the definition sure. for everyone. Well, an orthotist is someone who, who makes sorry. braces, which includes shoes, foot orthotics, braces for drop foot, for a, a, a lame leg, a polio. Oh, okay. And do you work with calluses at all that you see rubbed marks so you make different shoes or fittings or we, inserts? We, absolutely. Okay. We, we fit a foot orthotic to try to accommodate unique foot shapes, mm -hmm. extreme bunions, calluses, corns, anything that's hurting the foot, we try to create an environment that will relieve that pressure so the foot becomes healthier. So you can have a bigger bunion on one foot over the other, so you might have to have a different shoe to accommodate that bigger bunion? You might not need work? a bigger shoe, you might just need that shoe stretched at the bunion. Okay. And we wet and stretch shoes, it's an overnight process, but we can make a spot in your shoe to accommodate that difficult foot shape, be it the bunion or a hammer toe, anything that's a problem, we can wet and stretch a shoe so you have one pair of shoes to fit most unique foot sizes. So while we're on the bunion thing, I know you were mentioning a book that you can get, and a lot of people see things online, Facebook or whatever, it pops up and Absolutely. says and, ways and, of and, and Petafix is a great catalog. I hand them out all the time. We don't sell these things, mm -hmm. but there's there's hammer toe cradles, there's bunion splints. Could you show the middle page like that Absolutely. just gives a visual? Because it kind of, sure. you know. There's lots of different mm -hmm. choices from some basic orthotics with gel in them. Let me get it up in the right spot. Closer. Yeah. We have. Let's show them the one with the, the, the thing on the brace and the foot. Like I've Absolutely. seen that. Absolutely. Yeah, these so are there's, cool. There's to those. There's, there's toe spacers. These. There's Depending toe on crutches, there's hammer toe shields, there's this hammer toe cool. splints for night use. There's, That's if wonderful. you have toe tip pressure, toe crutches, um, you know, unique words, things that tie your toes together, things that separate your toes, donuts, if you will, to get pressure off problem areas, because that's okay. so, so important. So this booklet is kind of like all inclusive for all the remedies of the common troubling of feet. Absolutely. Especially as we age. It certainly is so true. Okay, so what's a prosthetist while we're at it? Am I saying that right? Prosthetist Absolutely, yes. yes. Prosthetist? A, a pro prosthetist, that's my, <laughs> that's my other hat I wear. Mm -hmm. And we design, fit, and fabricate artificial limbs. So if you were to have an injury or an accident and you, you either have a part of your foot gone or your leg or your entire leg, we make artificial limbs. We design them. We take a cast of the person's body and we build an artificial limb to match your functional capability. Um, there's so many products out there. We want to make sure we fit the right product to the right person mm -hmm. to give you the most cost effective, mm -hmm. comfortable thing to wear. So it's all the color, the texture, you know, the same shape of the arm or whatever or leg. So do you have to go to like a local rehab center and measure people before they come out or do they come to you? Most people come to me. We work by referral mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's a unique business because there's very little licensing in our business. So fortunately for my patients, I graduated from NYU with my degree in orthotics and prosthetics. Uh -huh. I sat from my boards. I took, I had my residencies. I was able to sit for boards and pass both my orthotics and prosthetics board exams. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm certified by the American Board for Certification, the ones who hold the highest standard in the industry. So you think that's pretty good if, you're, if someone's looking for an orthotist, prosthetist, I'm saying this right, more right? Orthotist. Orthotist, prosthetist. Orthotist, prosthetist. 
cross this just yeah <laughs> i'm gonna get that wrong but if you're looking for one you probably should look for a certified one or someone who has been educated in show Absolutely. credentials and, and you can google that everybody you know anywhere all over the country you know um the concern i have is many of my patients say that i can't get shoes on i have very bad edema and they're wearing men's slippers and they're women and they can't go out because they feel embarrassed because they don't have shoes that fit or and I, we I have might... very accommodated we have shoes that go up to 14e now i had one patient recently insisting that i get him even a larger shoe and his foot was so swollen fortunately he was able to go to a lymphedema clinic where they'll help reduce the extreme size of his leg because this is an unhealthy size. Yes. And that's where you have stasis ulcers where the fluid starts coming through the skin right. and you got a whole, a whole nother other set problem. of problems, grave problems. That, so. will be another, that will be another video for you all. And definitely could do one on lymphedema because it's bigger than we all know. Absolutely. And, uh, that's the person who can't fit their shoe. We fortunately have many shoes of all different sizes, shapes, colors, with elastic that can get your foot fit. The catch is it's just not cheap. Um, so tell yeah. us about that because how do they pay for these shoes? At my office, the only way we do footwear is private pay. Mm -hmm. There's an initial evaluation fee and then there's a fee to whatever we do. It, Medicare says they help with diabetic footwear and inlays. There's a 97% fail rate on processing those claims. So you get a prescription from either an endocrinologist, you were saying? A any, or any doctor. Any, anybody with nurse MD, practitioner? nurse practitioner, okay. PA. DO, PA, those okay. are all acceptable all prescriptions be. for accommodative footwear. Okay. We always start Good. generically, and then we get more detailed after that because we need to meet, I need to know what you're willing to tolerate mm -hmm. and what I have to be able to provide. So we have to sort of give you a diagnosis. They may have Charcot foot, or they may have a, a, a very big bunion or three hammer toes. I mean, if you know all that per foot, is that part of the diagnosis to help us get the, the shoe? Certainly. If you write yeah. more than not, that helps me. Be it the, the chronic, the big problem is the bunion, or the big problem is the hammer toes. If mm -hmm. not the hammer toe, maybe it's the toe tip, because that's also a result of a hammer toe, mm -hmm. and that helps us understand what we need to focus on, although other things might be more apparent to me, mm -hmm. that's what's most important to you, what your main reason for seeking my services. See, my concern for a lot of our patients are the sores they get on their feet from rubbing and wearing ill-fitting shoes. And sometimes since they don't leave the house, they wear the same shoes they wore 10 years ago, but they don't have the same feet. And it's so sad to look at that. like. The laces don't strip, you know, don't touch anymore, and they barely have a little knot, and the shoes look so worn. Um, and I really worry about these people staying mobile because if you can't walk, absolutely, it's 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 so important have to have the shoes. proper size shoe. Mm -hmm. It's very important to understand that feet change, feet get larger with time. You might not have been in the right size shoe even in the first place. Mm -hmm. Diabetics are unique because they don't have the sensation. If you have neuropathy. You don't right, have sensation, point. so you often put yourself into a too tight shoe uh -huh. to get some feedback mm -hmm. when, in fact, you need to be in a shoe that has room. The key is that you have a thumb's width past your longest toe in the shoe. That is such a good point because people just go out to the store and just buy shoes. Now, he, um, Ted also told me that Globe and some other specialty stores will make shoes. Uh, well, they, 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 have, they have pre-made shoes. Pre-made shoes. We, we do make custom Yours shoes. custom. Yes. In in mm -hmm. some cases, and we try to avoid custom shoes because they're so expensive, mm -hmm. over fourteen hundred dollars a pair That's for a for a know. custom Why made shoe. Okay. But all these accommodative shoes, there's many choices. The shoe that goes up to fourteen e, the shoe that has a lot of height or a high toe box shoe that helps accommodate that foot without the extreme costs of a custom shoe, and often something you can get online or out in the community. A lot of people have mobility issues and that's why they slide into their shoe or stand on the backs. Often Velcro closures on the shoe are real helpful because you only have to reach down with one hand to open and close your shoe. Mm -hmm. Sometimes laces can give you a better accommodation, but if you can't get two hands down there to tie, Velcro is wonderful.
What about elastic laces? I'm not a big fan of elastic laces. They do help you slip on and off. Sometimes it doesn't have your shoe on as snug as it could be. Okay. Um, but it, but it is a way when you had a hip replacement or the like, and you can't bend, it helps you slide in. As does something like a Merrell that has a little elastic gussets on each side. Okay. Yeah, the Merrell. Okay. What about a long shoehorn? Long shoehorns help you. I love shoehorns. We. That's one of my big giveaways here. Shoehorns because we don't want to break the back of the shoe down. We want to get your foot in without too much fighting. Okay, and you also said there's one other person out there that may be able to help people find. A absolutely. These, have these shoes I'm made. American board certified prosthetist, orthotist. Many of us don't deal with footwear at all. But certified pet orthists often are tied up to a shoe store and they can help you get coached towards a shoe size, a shoe shape. They have passed tests to understand the foot, understand the diabetic foot, so they can get you fit with the right size. A C ped is how they uh, are referred to. C like C, the letter C? Correct. Hyphen ped? P E D, -E -D. yes. Yeah, certified ped orthist. Okay. This was very informative. Thank you, Ted, for joining us today. It was yeah. just great.